to our series on Keys to the Cosmos. And in this session, we're talking about risk taking. So for us to grow into our fullest potential, we need to be willing to go a little bit beyond our usual comfort zone. And that comfort zone will be different for every individual. So one of the ways I really love to think about who we are and what we're capable of becoming is that we have our own original nature. So if we're a mango kind of person, then we're going to grow into a mango-like fruit. But if we're an apple type of person, then we're going to grow to become an apple-like fruit. So when we consider how we're evolving ourselves, it's important to evolve ourselves according to our nature. And similarly, when we're looking at how to take risks, we need to stay within the bounds of our true nature. Otherwise, we can, you know, take the too, too big a risk and not be comfortable and be way out of our zone of possibility. Or maybe we don't even take enough. So two things are important with risk taking. One is that we take risks that are appropriate to who we are as individuals. And one is that we must always consider safety. And I was working with uh, a guy from Argentina recently and he had taken a great leap into a management position in his uh, profession because he felt that he was too comfortable and he felt that compared to other people his age and stage of life that he wasn't really achieving as much as he could be. So despite the fact that he wasn't a leader type character he took this new job with new responsibilities and felt a lot of the time like he was out of his depth. He was uncomfortable asking people to do their tasks he had difficulty making decisions, so in essence, he just wasn't a leader. But he was comparing himself to other people, his age and stage, and trying to grow in ways that were expected according to society. But it honestly just didn't suit him. So in the work we did together, I, I helped him to recognize that who he is as a unique individual is you know, really perfect. He doesn't need to try and become like other guys. Like he was a natural introvert, he was a really quiet guy, and yet he felt a little embarrassed that when he was in social settings he didn't say much, he wished he could talk more and be more extroverted, but it just wasn't his nature. So in the work to, that we did together, he came to realize that he was absolutely in the wrong job, so he left the job. He went back to his original job, renegotiated his salary, got more money, was able to work four days instead of five days, and on the fifth day he could pursue his passion. So he was wanting to reach for a little bit more life than he was currently living in, but he was reaching in a direction that really wasn't true to who he was. So when we take risks in our lives, when we reach out for more of who we are and move out of our comfort zone, it's important that we consider, is this in alignment with the true me? And uh, many of us have been conditioned to compare ourselves to others. So it's really important to consider that like our own true nature is a certain flavor. And when we reach further out to life, we want to stay in the, in the lane that we are naturally belonging in. The other consideration is safety. So uh, I was speaking with a young yogi woman a um, short time ago and she was leaving the country. She had a, a van to sell and it was her biggest asset, so it was four and a half thousand dollars, so it was a, quite an investment. And she'd arranged to leave it with someone who was going to sell it for her when she left the country. And initially when she talked with that person, she said that she didn't want them driving it. And that person then came back and said, oh, well, I'd, you know, I'd like to be able to use the car, but she had a history of bad driving. So the young woman who owned the car had sort of thought, oh, well, you know, let her use it, trust the universe kind of thing. And when she was telling me the story, I was like, uh-uh, <laughs> don't trust the universe. Like, you can't trust the universe because the universe is interactive. And if there are signs of danger out there in the universe, so this, this uh, person who was going to sell the car on her behalf was not a good driver, and that had been signaled. And so she wasn't to be trusted. 
So we can't just let go and trust the universe. We need to consider always, if we're taking a risk, is it safe, right? So moving out of our comfort zone is one thing, but going into unsafe territory is another. So when we're moving beyond our comfort zone, we must do it with consideration of our natural way and safety. And uh, in that way, we'll be taking uh, risks to grow, uh, but not risks to, to put ourselves in danger, which is really important. Thank you.